then were former Israeli commandos training Kurds in northern Iraq. Was it Israeli freelancers trying to cash in on Iraq's multi-billion dollar private security boom? Or was this something both governments condoned? The sensitivities for the Kurdish authorities in admitting it are certainly enormous, since their political enemies have long accused them of being in cahoots with Israel. The trainers are Israelis. Their governments denied this was happening, but now Newsnight has obtained the first pictures of it and spoken to an Israeli who took part. Airport as a refueling stop, it was compromised last year when some pictures appeared in the Israeli press. But it wasn't the only training conducted by the Kudo men while they were there. They were also given more than a hundred Peshmerga or Kurdish fighters to train to a far higher standard. After finishing their training, these Kurds sang their national anthem while marching behind one of the Israelis. So were the men being trained for Kurdish missions, perhaps against other Iraqi factions, or as part of joint plans with the Israelis to go into Iran? The sensitivity of the former commando's work meant that they only spoke English to their recruits and Hebrew in private. Was getting rich the only motive, or was it a deniable operation designed to increase Israel's options? The inquiry now underway in Israel ought to answer those questions. Israeli intelligence and military operatives are now quietly at work in Kurdistan providing training for Kurdish commando units. Seymour Hirsch, journalist, The New Yorker.